Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. Hey, you know, I've had pretty good luck with this uh, Frontier Mill so far. It's got a uh, got a Briggs and Stratton 13 and a half horsepower electric start motor on it, and it's got a tag up on top on the fuel tank that actually says warranty void if you use uh, E85 fuel. It actually says that in the instructions uh, in the instruction manual too. So um, today I was out here fiddling around, and it just started running really, really weird. Let's see if it's still going to do it. It's a slight improvement. A little bit earlier today, I went ahead and stopped and uh, dumped a little bit of sea foam in the fuel. Now, I always run treatment in my fuel. I use a Pry G gasoline additive in my fuel and I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever. It'll stabilize your fuel, but that won't do anything if you happen to have some debris in the gas can or something like that, or you have some particular or whatever fall into the gas tank as you're filling it up. So I'm not saying that's what's happened, but it sure sounds to me like it's um, is starving for fuel or air one or the other. Now when I said it's doing a little bit better you heard it, it die and kind of pick up and then die and then eventually die totally. Uh, that is a bit of an improvement because uh, whenever I was running it you know an hour, hour ago or so every time I just let off the throttle it would just go straight down and die went to nothing just like you turn the key off. Almost sound like it was an electrical issue. So at any rate I still think it's fuel so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh, pull the air filter off, take a look at that in case it's starving a little bit for air. Uh, and also the next thing we're going to go ahead and take the float bowl off and see if there's any debris in that float bowl or in that main jet. There's a little bit of an accumulation on the external filter, but if you look right here at the, uh, the actual cartridge filter itself is nice and clean. There's nothing getting through this to any extent at all. So I'm going to blow this out with the air compressor and put this back on. Then we'll go about the business of um, inspecting the uh, float bowl. Got it all blown out clean now. We can go ahead and put this back on. I don't think that was contributing to it whatsoever. 13.5 horsepower is 420 cc. This has a fuel shut off. So I'll go ahead and turn off the fuel shutoff. And I think it's a 10 millimeter down here. I keep a couple basic wrenches out here that take care of the adjustments and everything. So those just stay here all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, that is torqued on there. Now that float bowl was torqued, that was torqued on there. Of course, with this little bitty short wrench, I didn't have a whole lot of leverage. If I see a little debris in here, that'll be a tip-off. But if I don't, then we have to look a little farther. There definitely is debris in the very bottom of this. A lot of nasty black stuff. I'm going to go get my mirror so I can look right up into that main jet and get my carburetor spray clean while I'm gone. Be right back. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, in the event, uh, the motor had an oil sentry on it. Uh, in other words, a, a low oil pressure sensor, uh, and I'm not sure that it does or doesn't. First thing I actually did was pull the uh, oil fill tab out or cap out and check the oil level. Because if the oil is getting really, really low, it can't develop the oil pressure enough to close your sentry circuit. Or also, if you're low on oil, there's not enough oil in to develop the pressure to close that sentry circuit. And I've got a full quantity of, of clean oil in there, so that wasn't the issue. So here's my flashlight or my root, my mirror. And I guess fortunately, it, uh, it's very clean inside there. I don't see anything up in that main jet, but that's not going to keep me from blowing some stuff up in there. I can see the needle, the needle working, floats working fine. I'm going to see if I can get a little blast of air and try to blast right up through that main jet. Clean that debris out of there.
Okay, let's start it and see if uh, any of that made any change at all. least it's wanting to idle so we may have uh, we may have been a little bit successful but I'm gonna go ahead and run the rest of that tank of fuel through this thing with that sea foam in it and see if the sea foam, sea foam in conjunction with what we just did won't get this thing to level back out and in the meantime I probably go ahead and change the oil you know because the viscosity could be getting a little bit thinner because the oil has got a little bit of age on it, a little bit of use so I'll change that oil and in the meantime I guess I better look and see if it has a oil sentry on it there's a bunch of stuff over here in the back that I really don't know what it is because I can't really get in there and see it. I have to take a look see and see what I can come up with. But uh, at least right now it does want to idle. So I'm thinking we might blow it on through. it's not dying but it is loping and that's not good so uh, I'm gonna have to get into it just a little bit deeper and figure out what's going on but it sure still seems to me like it's a fuel issue um, I don't think there's a fuel filter on it but uh, I'll check and see what I can come up with because uh, it's been running just smooth as could be from day one all the way up until today and the only two variables that we had is we had a lot of rain last night but I did have the thing covered up with multiple layers of tarpaulin and then I put some fresh gas in those are the only two things is, that's changed. So I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it sooner or later. Uh, but at least now it's not dying. And you know what? That's the end of this one here. This is Tractor Man 44. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs>